Hi guys! We are doing a fun get ready with me today while we gossip and chit chat. And I actually have so many new things to try out today. We're pretty much doing a full face of makeup I haven't tried out before. So I am very, very excited about that. Just drinking a little poppy prebiotic soda. Not sponsored. I'm drinking this one in Raspberry Rose. I love this one and the Doc Pop one. Like the one that tastes like Dr. Pepper. But I love them. They're so, so good. And oh my god, have you tried the one from the brand Olipop? I haven't tried a ton from Olipop, but the cream soda from Olipop trumps all of the ones I've tried. That one is the best. It's so good. So I'm taking a little bit of this and I'm actually putting in some chlorophyll. I have been dropping chlorophyll into my water, my coffee, everything. It's kind of like an antioxidant detox. It helps with like your body odor, with everything. It just like cleans you from the inside. So I just do like two full droppers into my stuff. I mean, it's not two full droppers. It only like fills up halfway. So it's kind of like one full full dropper. And this cup is really cute too. I got it on Amazon. I love that it has a lid and I can like stir my things without spilling. But yeah. Cheers. The key to these prebiotic sodas is that they have to be super, super cold. When they're really, really cold, like put them in the freezer 10 to 15 minutes before drinking one. And it's like soda. It's like a dessert soda. I love drinking these like after I eat or like in between meals. It's like a little dessert yumminess. I love them. But yeah, I thought I would just do this with you guys on camera because I was going to be drinking this throughout the whole thing. And I thought I might get a question or two of like, what's that green goo? Oh, it's not goo. You know what I mean? Okay, we're doing a full face of new makeup and I'm so excited while we talk a lot of shiz. Amazon has been my life. I swear, like, I only buy things from Amazon now. Amazon, Sephora, Ulta, but I love this hair clip. And it came with another one that was like bigger and fatter, but dude, it's like really sturdy, hard, like hard, good quality. By the way, the weather has been super inconsistent today. It'll be really, really sunny one minute and then super cloudy the next. That's summer in Miami, so please bear with me when it comes to the lighting. And bear with me with this echo. I put a rug in here, but it's too small. I gotta put in a bigger one. So yeah, I'm an idiot. I need to measure things. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try this Pick Up and Glow <clears throat> Pack up and glow. Priming SPF Broad Spectrum SPF 40 from Wander Beauty. I've never tried this before, but I love a good SPF primer. The one from e.l.f. is amazing. And this one is a mineral sunscreen. I like that it's SPF 40, so let's get up in there. Oh, interesting, it has like little, little beads. Honestly, I use all SPFs as primers. I always put it on underneath my makeup. You have to be wearing SPF every single day, guys. Trust me, trust me, trust me, even if you are staying inside your house. I know I don't shut up about that, but it's true. It's true. It feels really nice on the skin, and it does give me like a little soft glow. Right off the bat, I like the e.l.f. one more because I love the glow that that one provides, but I love that this one's SPF 40, so it's a little bit more protection, and my skin feels and looks really nice. I like it. Man, I had a few comments on my recent like cloud pink, Ariana Grande cloud pink perfume review over on TikTok. And a lot of people were mad at me for like supporting Ariana Grande, which I completely understand. Don't get me wrong. It's just like those perfumes are so affordable compared to other luxury niche, super, super pricey perfumes. And it's just more accessible for some people. And I really, really, really love the Ariana Grande Cloud perfumes. I think they're a great price and they last all day on the skin. So I wanted to review it for you guys. And honestly, you guys should have canceled Ariana Grande when she licked a donut and left it there, okay? That was pretty vile. In this case, I'm separating the artist from the art because I do think her perfumes are good. At least cl the cloud line. Love it. By the way, I'm testing out the NARS Light Reflecting Eye Brightener. Haven't tried this yet. I'm using the shade Night Swan. And I thought it was gonna have more of a dewy finish, but it kind of has like the consistency of a concealer. Not so much an eye brightener. Like I really, really, my nails are so long. I can't dip my finger in this. <laughs> like I really, really, really love the Selena Gomez Eye Brightener. That one is my favorite Rare Beauty Eye Brightener. It's my favorite. Oh. Lovely. I, I, I need to cut my nails. I am too Tarzan for this length. I'm gonna do the little trick that Nicole Guerrero taught us many, many moons ago and use the backside of my nail. Actually, it is a little bit tackier than a concealer consistency. I like this. I applied a little bit more and it is definitely brightening, but not too thick and cakey, like doesn't have too much coverage. 
I like that, I like that. By the way, I'm using the shade Night Swan. I don't know if I already said that. Okay, I'm actually not gonna be using foundation today. I'm gonna try out the Keys Soul Care. It's like skin, two-in-one concealer and tint. So I'm, I'm pretty much gonna put on foundation, but it's a concealer slash tint, <laughs> which is interesting, honestly. I have mine in the shade 220W. Let's see if it matches me. It seems a little too warm, a little too yellow for me, but let's see. I love that little noise. It's like... But anyway, yeah, that's my thought on the whole like Ariana Grande cloud perfume thing. Like, I'm not trying to be friends with Ariana Grande, but I will buy that cloud perfume. And other celebrity perfumes because they tend to just be more affordable, even though a lot of them suck. A lot of them suck. That one's pretty freaking good. Okay. Oh, I like this. It is a very soft, light tint. There isn't much coverage to this, but I like how it looks on the skin. It just evens out the skin tone. Like I was worried the color was too yellow, but because it has such a light coverage, I feel like it just blends right in. Anyway, yeah, I mean that poor lady that just had a baby with that Ethan Slater guy, like holy shit. I would lose my mind, L lose my mind. But I don't like to comment on other people's marriages. That's for them to figure out. It must suck to have the whole world, like as that lady, it must suck to have that whole world commenting on what's going on, especially after having a baby. Like she just had a baby and she has to read all these things because her husband got the hots for Ariana Grande. And I'm really, 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 really trying not to bring physical appearances into this because you cannot control what you look like. We are born the way that we are born and everybody's beautiful, but SpongeBob looks too much like her brother. Like, if a guy even remotely looks like my brother, I'm like, Ugh! I'm not kissing that. Okay, I like how my skin looks. It's so fresh, natural, and light. Doesn't look like I'm wearing anything on my skin, honestly. Just like, melt and rot it. Okay, Keys Soul Care. I also love their little things that they put on their bottles. Like this one says, I own my purpose. Yes, you do. Okay, so RCMA came out with these cream beach day bronzers. I love R RCMA, you know, they make the best translucent powder ever. And so I wanna test out this Beach Day Bronzer in Catalina. It's very warm, it's very warm, but I think it could be really beautiful, like blend it out. Gives you like a nice little tan terracotta look. By the way, I had so many questions in that TikTok asking me how I felt about the Billie Eilish perfume because I tried that on at the end, or no, I opened it up at the end. And I'm actually wearing the Billie Eilish perfume right now and it smells really, really good, but it reminds me so much of a perfume from Sud Pacific. Sud Pacific, I'm gonna put it up right here. I don't remember if it was like the vanilla cocoa or I don't know, but it reminds me so much of this perfume. They smell very, very similar, but this one's more like vanilla-y and a little bit warmer and that one's a little bit beachier, but I do really like it. I just don't know if it lasts all day. I've been wearing it for a couple of hours and it smells really good, but I need to give it like a full on wear test to see if it lasts. Cause that's the most important thing, you know? But the smell is really nice. It's very, very warm vanilla. So if you're a vanilla girl, I think you're gonna like it or a vanilla boy, I think you're gonna like it, but it's not like too vanilla. It's not like warm vanilla sugar Bath and Body Works, you know, that's like too vanilla. This one's good. I like this color, it's so soft. It's actually a lot softer than I thought it was gonna be, which I like. And the formula is really, really nice, really easy to blend. Oh my God, guys, I was gonna ask you, dude, what? I don't know, I don't know if we're gonna have an answer by the time this video goes up, but what is up with the fact that that Bobby girl, you know, like that really funny Bobby girl, Bobby something, she's a mom, so cute, so funny. And she did that interview with Drake, I love her, I love her. And everything just got deleted, like she deleted, they unfollowed each other on Instagram and then she like deleted that stuff and I am in Invested. I am invested. I need to know what happened. Do you guys have the inside scoop, the 411? Please let me know. Cause I'm a boomer and I don't keep up with those things. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over it with a powder bronzer as well. This one is from Ella Luz and this is called the Velveteen Queen powder bronzer. And I haven't tried this one either. It seems like a similar color kind of, but like a powder version. Oh my God, I've been dying to sit here and talk to you guys about that Bentelect guy. Dude, you know that really, really weird TikToker guy, which all he does is pretty much like react to memes, like funny memes, and he just sits there and like laughs like a creep, like a serial killer throughout the entire TikTok. It's super weird. I've always thought the guy was super weird. <laughs> and a bunch of stuff just recently came out about him of like girls he used to date and being really creepy with other creators. You guys have to look it up. Bentelect is his like, TikTok name. Oh my God. I gotta say, I saw it coming. I 
saw it coming. I need to know your opinion on that whole situation, if you guys know. He was supposed to be on a podcast with this girl, like this guest, and she does like OF, right? And so he tells her, he's like, oh, what if we make some OF content together? Mind you, they were supposed to be like on his podcast together, doing some like food challenge or something, nothing to do with OF, but because she was an OF creator, he like asked her like, hey, after my podcast, you wanna like film for OF or something? And she was like, yeah, no, obviously. Weirdo. And then he ditched her and he was like, okay, then never mind. I don't want you on my podcast anymore. And being so creepy. Oh my god, the ick. I don't even know if I can call it an ick. Like looking at him, I know it's mean. Just like watching his TikToks, he gives me like the ultimate ick. Whatever the level above ick is, he gives that to me. <laughs> okay, really quickly, I just noticed that I haven't set my eyebrows. And I was waiting to do it on camera because I want to try out the new Rare Beauty eyebrow gel, wax gel brush thing and I want to see if it gives me good hold honestly the key to making any brow gel work is doing this like if you want the feathery brow look and you want your brow hairs to like lay flat and stay there the key is to just like hold it down like you apply your wax your brow gel or whatever and then you could brush it up you could even do it like with this like like just how I'm doing it here and like holding it down and pushing the product in place and it definitely stays longer it kind of like seals it it'll stay in place all day if you do that little trick trust me if you're like man this brow gel sucks there's no hold put it on hold your fingers on your eyebrows flat and set them in place and you'll be good okay i'm gonna go in with some blush i'm gonna test out one of these new blushes i already know which one i'm gonna test out because i don't okay rms beauty i have fallen in love with the founder of rms beauty i don't know if you guys have seen her pop up on tiktok she is this gorgeous classy woman oh my god like she she talks she fascinates me i'm gonna put her little tiktok here so you can see who i'm talking about i don't know if you've seen her pop up i had no idea she was the founder of rms beauty and the way that she talks about her products it makes me want to try everything from the brand like she talks about it with such passion and it, oh, i love her and i recently saw a tiktok of her using these new blushes these are the Redimension Hydra Powder Blushes. They're supposed to be like a highlighting kind of blush, but not like too glittery or shimmery, kind of like a soft sheen. Ugh, like look at this one. This one's called Bohemian Girl, and it's what I wanted NARS Orgasm to be. Like swatched it on the back of my hand, fell in love. This one is called Cur Royale gorgeous but this is the one that she used on camera it's called crystal slipper and i have been wanting to put this on my face since the moment i saw her wear it it looked so lovely and gorgeous on her so i'm gonna be using this one okay so i just applied it on one cheek because i wanted to do like a tiktok about this blush that's how obsessed i am with the founder but i love it it's such a pretty blush it gives you like a soft sheen but it's like this stunning everyday natural shade that pairs with so many different things i love it i love it like it gives you the perfect amount of glow without being over the top especially if you have like more bumpy skin or like more textured skin and you don't necessarily want to highlight the face but you still want to have like some sort of glow this is the perfect type of blush to do that. Okay, we're gonna keep the sheen vibes going with this new product from Mel. I'm also super excited to try these. This is the Glazed Skin Sheer Finishing Powder that they recently launched. The packaging is really, really nice. It has like this like shimmer in it and in the sun it looks really lovely. But this is basically like a soft finishing powder that you apply to your skin after you're done with like your blush, bronzer, highlight to give you just a little bit of glow in those other areas, but still also like setting your face because it is a powder, but it's a powder that like Sets and sheens is how I can explain it. I definitely think powders like this are so versatile because I think they're great for people with like oily skin if you want to give yourself a glow, but without using any products that are going to be like greasy or liquidy. This is a great way to semi glow but still powder your face. And even if you have dry skin, these types of powders tend to look just so much more youthful on the skin and not so dry. I usually love powders like this. I know a lot of other brands have them, like Giorgio Armani, Girl Lactic has a really good one that I used to love. The hourglass powders are very, very similar, but I really, really like this formula. It gives you a really gorgeous lit from within glow. It's really nice. Sometimes you just want to set without taking away the, the sheen, you know? I love that. I love that. Bro, I have the Doja Cat song stuck in my head, and I'm like, I'm, guys, I don't want to talk about it. I'm so depressed over Doja Cat. I don't want to be that person that's like, I was a fan before they blew up. I was a fan before she blew up. Like, I was a fan years ago. I love Doja Cat. She's one of my favorite artists of all time. I love Doja Cat. So I'm like, 
Mommy, ¿qué te pasa? Mommy, what's happening to you? And I know everybody's like on strike, like, we're not listening to her music. But then we're kind of like, mm -hmm. you know? I'm like singing with her. I'm like, she's talking about us. Like, she hates us. And I'm like, mm -hmm. she's gonna paint the towel bread. Mm -hmm. I can't even pretend. I'm not listening to that song all the time. I can't even pretend. I have to make sure I don't sing any songs here on my YouTube channel because I don't know if I told you guys this. By the way, I'm using my disco. Ow. My Disco Fox palette. But bro, I was singing a pretty Ricky song in a recent video of mine, okay? But I was singing it in Spanish. The Spanish version doesn't exist. I was singing My Body, is that the song? Well, I was singing Mi Cuerpo. That song doesn't even exist, and my video got claimed. My video got claimed because I sang two seconds of Pretty Ricky in Spanish. They're like, ah, oh, this is a, the, a cover of a song. You sing it for five seconds, demonetized. I'm like, what? So. I can't sing Doja Cat here. Speaking of music, speaking of songs, I'm sorry we're not doing much gossiping here, huh? I kind of got through that Ariana Grande topic in like five seconds. And also, ew, Ben to like, yeah. Outside of gossip, outside of gossip, please let me know in the comments below what songs you have been loving. I want to listen to like new music. I feel like I've been listening to the same 10 songs every single day, which that Doja Cat one is one of them. <laughs> and I don't know, I just, I need new music to jam to, you know? I need something fun and exciting and something that's gonna make me happy. No sad songs, please, eh? Please. I cannot take Adele right now. My soul, my heart cannot handle it right now. Okay, I'm gonna test out one of the new Rare Beauty, all of the above weightless eyeshadow sticks. They came out with a ton of bronzy, delicious, like shimmer shades, and I'm gonna throw one all over my lid. Which one is the question? This one looks pretty good. Oh my god, guys, I'm watching The Last Kingdom right now. The show? Oh my god. This Uhtred man? Delicious. Where is he from? Where did he come from? Because, wow, he's very handsome. Very, very handsome. I don't even know what they're saying. I don't even know what the show's about, and I'm just like... I have to, like, rewind and replay, because I'm like, what did he say? <laughs> I kind of don't like him, though. I'm only on... I just finished season one, and I kind of don't like him. Like, he's cute for what? Because it's kind of wishy-washy, flippy-floppy, without saying too much. I know that show's old, but still. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna restart Game of Thrones. They have it on HBO, obviously. Um, and I never finished it. I never finished Game of Thrones because of the outrage of the ending. And I was always like behind everyone else. Um, and everybody hated the end, which to me, the end is like everything of a show. So I probably shouldn't watch it, but I love me some Jon Snow. So I think I need to rekindle that. Okay, I really like this. Super easy to blend. Dude, these shadow sticks are so easy for that one and done out the door. I don't have time kind of thing. That was the shade Contentment, by the way. Now I'm gonna go in with Integrity on my inner corners. A little down here. Taking a little bit of well-being. Adding some more to the inner corners. I want my inner corners. Did I say that right? I want my inner corners to, why does that sound weird? To sparkle more. So I'm gonna go in with Copacabana, baby. So it's just the elite inner corner highlight. Nothing compares. <sighs> Not unlike it. The glitters in this Disco Fox palette, bro. I'm sorry. Unmatched. All right, I'm gonna test this out. This is the Revlon Colorstay Micro Easy Precision Liquid Liner. I said precision, didn't I? My cubing comes out sometimes. Literally, Revlon can slap color stay on anything, and I'm like, yes, I love it. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> I am a sucker for the color stay line range. Okay, this is in the shade black, and I'm gonna do the thinnest little line. I really wanna do like the whole tight liner eyeliner look. You know, where it's just like literally just like your tight line, your water line, and that's it, but it's like a little rim of black. I haven't done that in years, and I recently saw a girl on TikTok have that, and I'm like, hmm. I'm gonna do that. Actually, first I'm gonna put on some black eyeliner in my waterline. I'm gonna take the Rare Beauty. This is also pretty new. Their Perfect Strokes Longwear Gel Eyeliner. This is in true black. My eyes get so watery so easily. I am, I hate this. <laughs> the faces we make to put on mascara and eyeliner. Ick. Okay, love that so much. Now, I need to concentrate. Okay, guys, don't talk to me. This 
is actually a really, really good eyeliner. It reminds me so much of the Makeup Forever one, and this is like half the price. And I love that Makeup Forever one. It lasts all day, super matte black. Hopefully this will last all day, but it's like the same really intense matte black. I love it. I have been so friggin' excited to try this mascara. Oh! Ever since I saw Karen, I love Sarai, use it on Instagram. I'm like, oh my God, I want it. This is the Benefit Fan Fest Mascara. It's their fanning and volumizing mascara. Okay, let's see the, oh, okay. It's a cute little wand. I love these little fiber ones. Way more than plastic. I think this is a mascara I'm definitely gonna have to test out again without eyeliner underneath because it's just so hard to tell if I really love a mascara if I have liquid eyeliner on and I don't know if it happens to you guys but whenever I use liquid liner and then I immediately go in with mascara my lashes are kind of like hard <laughs> because some of the liquid liner gets on my lashes so today is not the best test for this mascara although I do like it I can tell I'm gonna like it the formula is a little bit drier not as wet I find that the wet mascaras are a little bit too smudgy and this one seems promising in terms of that. I like that. I feel like Twiggy. That clap just scared the shit out of Porter. <laughs> okay, I think this is the only product that I have in, this, in today's video that I've already tried, but I haven't tried this shade, this color. This is the Rare Beauty Kind Words Matte Lip Liner. I love these lip liners. They're really, really good, but I've never tried the shade Fun. At least I don't think so. Cute. I like this color. I feel like it goes really well with the blush and the eyeshadow. Okay, I was gonna leave it matte and just end the video here, but really quickly, I'm gonna throw on the Light Slacker Miss Honey lip gloss just to add some sheeny shine. If you want your lip gloss to smell like the little marshmallows in Lucky Charms, get this. <laughs> I was recently sent the Milani setting sprays. The original Make It Last setting spray is probably the best setting spray at the drugstore. I'm telling you, it is so, so good. But now they have a matte one, a dewy one, and a sunscreen one. This one is SPF 30. That's crazy. I like that. We're gonna try that. Smells kind of sunscreeny. Okay guys, that's it. This is the finished look. I love that setting spray. And I love everything I use. I don't think there's anything that I put on my face that I was like, ah! about. Everything was so good. I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me. Maybe you put this video on while you were getting ready and we were just sitting down and chatting. But please let me know in the comments below what videos you want to see from me next. I I know I say this all the time, but I kind of do the same kind of videos and I want to switch it up and I want to do... Oh my god, I've been wanting to do another round of like full face of specific brands. I haven't done them in years. Like I really want to do a full face of Tower 28 makeup. Once I get their new concealers in the mail, I'm so excited for those. But I kind of want to do like a full face of new brands. It's like new makeup brands like Refai and Tower 28 and Ilia and like those other brands that are kind of like newer in the space and some new drugstore ones as well. But anyway, let me know how that sounds and let me know what else you want to see from me. But that completes this video, guys. I'm not used to seeing my waterline so black anymore. I'm like, oh my God, it's crazy. But that completes this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.